So this is an introduction to the puzzler. Uh, the puzzler is something I had to bring in to let me have the builder. Um, and the reason for that is when you have the builder, it allows me to drop in lots of different formations. And people have asked for a long time, why don't I have something where you can select uh, different formations? Um, but the problem has been that making the flow work between those different randoms um, is difficult and I haven't had a way to do that in the app. Um, the puzzler provides that way. Um, it's it's the most complicated screen uh, in the app. It's it's pretty busy, there's a lot there. Um, but I'm gonna talk you through it and with a bit of experimentation, um, I'm, I'm sure you get the hang. So uh, I started with a, a kind of contrived skydive uh, so it's nice and simple to follow. It's a little three pointer. Uh, we've got our guys kind of facing off in the first point, uh, kind of switching past each other into um, an accordion, building their star, and then of course uh, they need to switch back across the formation um, to get back to the top. So we want to take out that switching. Um, and this is where the puzzler comes into play. So first of all, let's talk through what we've got here. Um, we've got two points shown. So here is showing point one out of three on the left and point two out of three on the right. And we can kind of move along between our points. So, so click that twice. So we've got point two out of three and point three out of three. And then uh, again, the third point and then back to the first. Uh, we have our blue arrows and our red arrows. I'll kind of, you can click to highlight them. Um, and let's go to the first point again and you can see what they're doing. So. The red arrows are showing where people are moving. We can tap on any skydiver to kind of make his arrows a bit thicker. So we can see this purple guy is moving across to the purple position here. I tap on blue, uh, see the blue, uh, sorry, the green. Green's moving over to the position here. Those are the red arrows. Um, hide them. The blue arrows are showing in the frame of this skydive what's the actual movement that this skydive is going to take. So we can see these guys are taking these big switching movements across the board. Um, and we want to get rid of that switching. We want to make things a lot simpler. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. Um, we can do it manually. I can do it simply by dragging. So I can say, okay, here's my purple guy. I want him to go to this slot over here rather than switching across the formation. Drag an arrow uh, from there to there. And you see the app's kind of figured out what has to happen to this red guy that was previously taking the slot. So it's kind of just taking a sensible decision there. Um, and we can do the same with the green. And we can drag him uh, down and we've got our slots. Now, the app still has the same moves for the third point back to the first point. So it's still gonna do the switch across. So we've put one switch in, we haven't taken the other switch out. So that means these guys are in memory. Um, and that's why they've got a little uh, lightning bolt on their heads because their heads are potentially hurting and up here it shows that this is now a two-page skydive but we can fix that so uh, go to the second point you can see that's a nice easy transition here um, third point same movements as before and now we can see these crossing moves that we had um, I'm gonna fix this with a simpler way this time I'm gonna put my delete and this is gonna make all these arrows dotted um, so what that's saying is these are not arrows that have been chosen by you. So they're available for the computer to play with. And the computer has its brain function. So we can tap on the brain and it's gonna work out what is the easiest, shortest, average set of moves to get people from where they are here to where they are here. Uh, and that's nice and easy. And they're gonna stay in their slots. And that also takes out the switch. So we can now actually watch the flow of the skydive. Um, it works uh, pretty much as we'd expect. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna not save my changes so I can show you a slightly different way to do this. Um, go back into the puzzler. You can see we've got these switches again. So let's say I'm doing this manually. Um, symmetry is all important in Skydiver and Skydiver Designer and we've still got the symmetry controls here. So in this point, we've got a left-right symmetry and also a rotational symmetry. Second point, we've only got the rotational symmetry. So I'm going to use two-way rotational symmetry here. And this way, when I drag my purple, 
The symmetry means that the app is also working out what happens for everybody else. Uh, so run run through this and uh, same point with the third point we've got our symmetry again um, so this guy goes to purple and what's happened there is that the purple guy had to move to here the red guy then had to change because the purple stayed in the slot the blue is the symmetrical piece so he's done this move and the green again had to change um, so that's using symmetry to uh, make sure that the moves you choose are reflected symmetrically around the formation. That's an introduction to the controls. Um, there's some more things we can do though. Um, so let's go back uh, to uh, the first point. Let's say we want to just put in a little bit of a rotation here. So. Um, we tap on the rotation and we can move things around and this is just for this step so let's find maybe that's a slightly slightly nicer position and this we see we haven't changed anything on the next point but if we move it back um, we could do this step and the following step so all following uh, steps in the skydive will move. And if we see this here, we see that we've moved this star around um, as well. We've got some more controls here. We can do um, we can do mirrors. So again, this is moving the uh, opposite point. We can put that in a mirror. Um, this kind of messes up the transitions. We're going to have to go back and fix those, but we could do that if we wanted to just say, uh, you know, we want to have a, a completely different uh, look to a formation here. So I could just clear all my arrows, ask the brain to do its thing, um, and then we're going to have to kind of follow this through. Um, we've got this other crazy move here. Clear those, ask the brain to do its thing, and it's worked out sensible moves, which brought us back to the top. Uh, we've also got uh, colors uh, so we can do the same color scene scheme as the main app um, so this is choosing uh, random pieces within each group we've got the two-way formation uh, this one on the right is saying for each sector uh, give me just slightly varying color so it's got we've got our two-way uh, rotation kind of one sector is the green one sector is the blues um, that's really useful when you're wanting to figure out um, people for different sectors making sure they're coming back home uh, obviously very relevant in uh, the builder scenario these color changes don't affect the main app but obviously the the movements like the reflections and so on do uh, affect it so I'm going to save this and um, we see our skydive is now got its little rotation in it um, and then back to the top so here's an example using uh, some of the random points from uh, Rob's 12s. That's just a, a bunch of uh, random formations that I've put together um, that will hopefully uh, be useful for people to have a bit of a play and some inspiration to kind of add your own skydives together. Um, and I hope that people will contribute more randoms uh, to these selections. Um, I picked three kind of long, thin uh, uh, randoms that should work together. Um, accordion, uh, face cranky, and facing zipper. Um, so save this and have a look. And it's obvious right from the start that the transitions are ridiculous. Um, and clearly the way I've designed those points and kind of slotted people, it hasn't been consistent uh, through those randoms. Um, so that's kind of a mess, but that's what the puzzler is here for. So tap on the puzzler. And this is a pretty straightforward skydive, right? It's pretty obvious what the transitions should be. Um, so I'm going to just let it figure it out for itself. So I'm going to tap delete to get rid of the assigned transitions and tell the brain to figure out what are the shortest uh, transitions available. That puts everybody in memory, um, but we're probably going to fix that when we get that rid of these ridiculous transitions. So again, hit delete, uh, tell the brain to figure out what the shortest transitions are, and we can see that's already fixed. Everyone's out of memory, and we got nice small moves. 
So we can see all these little tiny blue arrows. Everyone has got small moves all the way through um, and they're all pretty sensible and that flows pretty nicely. So we've taken three random formations, uh, we've put them together into a skydive uh, that flows um, and we're good to go. So here's a simple example in the eight-way dive pool where we might do an escape to get out of a switcher. Um, but the builder doesn't know that by default. It assumes that we're doing everything in, in normal positions. So we've got A, um, 11 left, and four with a partner right, uh, which we've just made sound with the builder. Save that. We go into the puzzler. We can see that everybody's in memory because we've got that 11 switcher. Um, but now if we flow through um, and we get to the bottom of the 11, um, we can kind of see that there's actually an obvious escape here. So instead of the uh, back of the cat uh, going into the front, um, it can take a switch to the B slot and, um, and we'll escape this. So this is symmetrical. We've got four-way rotation here. So I'm gonna put on symmetry, put on four-way, and I simply drag uh, my back of the cat guy um, over to the back here. And the app guesses and what the obvious move is for the front guys to do. Um, and we see that the little lightning has gone and it's showing one page. So uh, we've completely got out of the switch and we can tidy up this move a little bit if we want to. Um, so let's go through and watch this. Um, so we do our block move to the switcher. We do our escape and I'm just gonna tie that up a little bit. Um, move this guy is going to just make a little bit more of an honest cat here um, and uh, straight into the in-out.